Hi, I'm Adam Biggers of todaysyou.com and joining me today is Thomas Bendit of Big Time Powerhouse and todaysyou.com. Thomas, uh, another media day, Michigan basketball in the books. Uh, so just your overall impressions of these guys. I, you know, I think this is clearly going to be a better team than it was last year. Um, everything you hear, whether it was Beeline, whether it was the players, this is a deep team. There's going to be a lot of guys factoring in pretty much across the board, I think, besides uh, maybe shooting guard with Karis LeBert. And I think you wrote about this not too long ago. DJ Wilson, he seems like he can be a guy who can put the front court to the level that we thought it was going to be able to reach last year. And I think DJ's health and development, of course, is going to be important. What do you see, I guess, what are you looking for out of DJ this season? Yeah, you know, I, I personally, I think DJ is going to be one of those wild card players where if he hits, it's going to change Michigan's dynamic of their entire team. Um, you know, he was talking about today that he, uh, you know, putting on the size last year, hitting the weight room, really made him uh, a potential player up front at center, at power forward. And, you know, it really could be huge if you have a player who can handle the ball like him, who can defend, who has the speed of him, um, if he can play and rebound at the five. Right, he was ex extremely athletic. And, and when it comes to the front court, uh, Ricky Doyle is going to be pretty important to these guys. And uh, Beeline has, has talked about Doyle's strength, you know, since last year. He says, you know, just getting stronger. Uh, he sat down and talked with Ricky a little bit. And he, you mentioned doing kind of Olympic squatting exercises, that kind of stuff with uh, with Coach Sanderson and Sandman. So it sounds like that he's he's getting there, and I think that he's, I mean, Donnell and DJ Wilson aside, I mean, because of what they can do shooting wise and maybe a little bit, but physically, I think Ricky Doyle is the guy for them up front. Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely think Doyle's going to be the starter, especially you know early on. Um, you know, Wilson has the I think has the high ceiling of anyone, but. Um, you know, he's played, I think, a minute or two his entire career, whereas Doyle really was the main guy last year. I think he's gonna, he has the physicality, he has the size now, um, and the experience to be a, a good big man. It was nice to see Spike Albrecht in good spirits, uh, you know, coming back from those hip surgeries. He says, you know, that it's not really bothering him so much anymore. Now it's more or less just kind of, uh, you know, getting fully immersed. You know, the, the toughest part for him, he said, was not playing basketball for those five, six months at a time. What are you expecting? Out of Spike. You know, the, the great thing about Spike for this year is that he's going to be playing behind people, which I think is a better role for him. I think he's a great guy off the bench because he doesn't turn over the ball, he can shoot from three, and he's a great facilitator. But I think when you push him into those 30 plus minute type of games that he had to play last year, you do see some of the issues that he has. But I think he's going to be a great boost off the bench and he's really going to firm up that backcourt. Well, it was funny they mentioned uh, b before the press conference starts the core four. So I think we <laughs> I think we know where everyone stands. It's, uh, you know, Karras obviously, his team coming back senior year. That's, I mean, I don't even know where to begin with that. Production-wise, that's huge. Um, Mentality-wise, that's huge. You know, he's a teammate, the guys respect him. You know, John's talked about him for a couple of years now as just being one of those players you want to have. How important is Karis LeVert really to this team? Oh, I think Karis LeVert is huge. Um, you know, Beeline was talking about the fact that not only is he leading the team in scoring so far, but he's also probably leading them in assists, which just shows how diverse he is. Um, and, and one of the other things that a lot of people don't talk about is when he's on defensively, he's probably the best defender on the team. Very good and that, that is on top of his scoring, right. his passing, his rebounding. Um, and, and when I was talking to Karis LeVert earlier today, you know, he was talking, I asked him about, you know, he was the guy last year, and then he went down and the other guys had to be the guy later on. And he said, you know, the team is totally different because the other players know what he, they're doing now. So I think he's really going to fit into his role better and not have to do everything this year. Injuries are never a good thing, but I think in the case of Michigan, if you look at, I don't want to say timing because there's never a good timing, but it, these guys force themselves mm -hmm. to adapt as to where some teams don't always do that. Some teams just kind of fall by the wayside and, hey, we are a victim of these injuries and the, 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 the topple continues. I think Michigan reversed that. And I think just judging by what we've been told today and just kind of the outlook, I think that there, you know, if there is a way to positively move on from, you know, the hip injuries, the foot injuries, uh, that Michigan has done that. My, my final point, I think this year, Aubrey Dawkins, Muhammad Abdul Rahman, going to be two of the most exciting players on this team. I, know, I have no doubt about that. 
Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. And, and you know, that's one of the things, you know, last year when Levert went down, when Walton went down, they could have thrown in the white flag and given up on the season. But they come back, they play great down the stretch, they beat Ohio State, they blow out Illinois in the Big Ten tournament, and now you're adding all of these pieces on top of that. Levert, Walton, DJ Wilson, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. And I think it's going to be an exciting year for Michigan this year. I agree. And, and again, with uh, Aubrey Dawkins last, last year, those 20-point explosions, I think he scored 30. One in one game, Muhammad Abdul Rahman as well. Uh, it'll be a tough year for Michigan. They have to get healthy. That's something that Spike Albrecht, you know, mentioned. It's something that uh, John Beeline's mentioned. But I think, you know, once we start getting more into the Big Ten season and we see, you know, who's going to come back, you know, um, time-wise from what, we'll really start seeing something develop. But as far as Michigan's basketball is concerned, Thomas, I, I'm confident that these guys can probably compete in the top third with the Big Ten. Mm. Um, I, I do think they'll probably end up being a tournament team just to, from what we know right now. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think I have them third or fourth in the Big Ten right now. And it's going to be the biggest challenge for me of this year is finding the rotation. Beeline's talked about it. I mean, they don't. They have a lot of great, good players, but they need a, bu a couple great players. And you know, Levert is likely going to be one, but finding the other couple is going to be the, the major challenge this year. Okay. Follow me on Twitter at Adam Biggers eighty one, and follow me on Twitter uh, at T Bendit or uh, BT Powerhouse.